What is happening guys? Welcome back. So we're going to carry on with the Mark 1, get a few more bits done. I've got a bit of a plan of what I want to do. I'm going to get the intercooler mounted, the radiator mounted, the fan so we've got an idea of where it's going to go. And then I mentioned in one of the videos we're on about doing a bit of a wire tuck on the car and we've had the wiring loom back now and all the ECU and everything has come back. It's come back split down to what I need to do. So we're then going to work out where we're going to route the cables and what we're going to do with them. So the first thing we've got to do is work out how we're going to package it all, how we're going to fit everything where we need to with room to get to everything and enough room to be able to get to pipes and things of that nature. So in here at the minute, we've got a universal intercooler that I just bought from eBay with pipe work and all sorts as a kit. And we've got a top fill radiator here, which means that we're not going to have to run a header tank over there. It'll just clean the bay up and things a little bit more. So there in there, I did buy a sprinter intercooler because I was recommended to do that. But I just don't like how big it is. It's pretty much touching here and touching here on uh, the chassis leg. So we've got rid of that. I'm going to use the universal front mount intercooler instead. This fan came, I bought this fan as well, which apparently is a slimline fan, but it's still 50 odd mil thick, which is to me not slimline. But anyway, so first thing we need to do is work out where everything's going to go. Radiator pretty much is going to be flush with the back of this front panel here so we know roughly where that's going to go and we've got a nice amount of space we've found or rich found on ebay that you can get um, a hose kit for the water pipe so this water pipe here comes around to here and this water pipe here comes up to here and the fitting or on there say you don't need to buy them before if you fit the radiator so that pipe is in line with that pipe everything should fit and for reference you're about a finger's width away from that bolt so you've got two reference points to work to where it's got to go front mount intercooler is here and i've mounted it and sort of wedged it up on bits of wood and bits of metal and all sorts and what we're going to do is fabricate these little brackets up here just like that that are going to weld to the front frame here along here and down here um, and then they should be nice and strong and then we're going to make one because we've got this in the middle we're going to make one for the middle here that will weld behind this panel and pick the bottom up and that'll be the intercooler like mounted. But yeah, making brackets does not take five minutes. There we go then, intercooler is mounted into the car. I'll show you around the brackets I've made. It's taken a hell of a lot longer than it should have done, but I haven't fabricated or done anything like this for a very, very long time and trying to get my head back into it and do it right is proving quite difficult, but we've got there in the end. So let me show you what I've done to mount this. First ones, two top brackets are there, which is just a piece of L-shaped steel um, that I've put a bit of a, a round onto on the end just to tidy them up. That one's obviously off centre for some reason, who knows. Um, but yeah, done that and then bolted through. And then the bottom one, as well as I can show it, is again, same sort of thing, although it thins down to about 14 mil here and I think this is 25 or 30 mil. So it sort of tapers in. Um, put a gusset in just to try and help support it a little bit because it is quite bendy. Tacked it this side onto the front panel of the car, but as you can, hang on, uh, as you can see, there isn't a lot of room to get in um, and we can't get to the other side to tack it in. So we'll fully weld that when 
the engine and everything comes out the car, hopefully in a couple of days. So now that's done, the next thing to move on to is the radiator and getting that mounted behind the intercooler. I've really not achieved what I wanted to achieve today, but we're getting there, slow steps. Intercooler and radiator are mounted in the car. And we've also, I've just put on temporarily the fan as well. So we've got a nice, decent sized fan on there. It needs to go a little bit higher, I think. I just put it on there just to see what the space was like. Yeah, that is on and fixed. So what I did was, there's some rubber mounts that came with the radiator. Um, all I've done for now is drilled a um, six mil hole in this front panel, both sides. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a nutser in there, so a threaded sort of rivet in there that we can wind that onto, and then we can do that fixing up to hold the bottom. And then the top, this side, you've just got an L bracket that goes down into a slot and that bolts onto the front panel. I wanna round these corners off and tidy these up a bit. And then this side, this is a nut and bolt on this part here that bolts that piece and then that piece is bolted into the front panel and it is solid. So that's mounted there. That pipe and that pipe are in line. So we should be able to buy the kit and use this hose kit online. That's that bit done. Next thing we're gonna look on and start looking at is the wiring loom, where we're gonna run the wiring loom, new holes through the bulkhead and how we're gonna tuck it. But at the end of the day, Got to go and do something else tomorrow and work somewhere else tomorrow. So I'll be back in on Saturday and we'll start on the loom. So see you then. Good morning. Welcome back. So this morning, I want to start looking at this wiring loom. So I want to say a massive thank you to Engine Swaps by Russ for sorting out the engine and Mark 1 loom and getting them all integrated into one plug and plate system. And thank you to VAG Immo Removal for deleting the immobiliser out of the ECU, so the car will run without the original keys and all of that. So what I've done, I've broken the looms down. This is pretty much the front end loom. So we've got the engine loom there. We've got the mass sensor and uh, EGR uh, and the uh, lambda sensors and all things on that loom there. This loom here is for headlights, rad fan and all things like that. So we've got to get those from inside the car to the front of the car and then run the wires everywhere. The loom at the back there, that loom is, I think the one on the left is for the rear end and then that one there is for the dashboard. So looms are split down. Originally, they go through those two holes just there, but we want to do a bit of a wire tuck and a bit of a delete. So what I'm thinking is, or what I've been told is, the engine one wants to come out of somewhere here. We want to drill a new hole here and then the Front end ones, I want to drill a hole, not in the wing, but in the inside here into the inside, which is where the fuse box is. Then the wires drill a hole through the inner wing here again, and then we can get them into this front panel void under here and run them to the headlights where we need to and get them sorted. Now, I'm not sure about the grommet situation. I'm going to have to work that out. But what I want to do for now is wing off, drill the hole in the in the bulkhead there, get the wiring sort of in place, then I'm happy that we've ran what we need to, make sure that the bits plug in, then we can take all of it back out, and then we can start on cleaning up the engine bay and welding up the holes that we don't need. So let's get on with that, we'll get this wing removed and start throwing some wiring at the car. Right, what we're gonna do to get this wiring through. I've gone, this is obviously the front loom, which is for your headlights and anything on the front of the car, really, um, and the rad fan and things like that. I've taken all of the plastic covering off because we're gonna have to go through this and trace and work out what different wires do and get rid of what we don't need. Um, and then we've got joins and things that over the years, people have added bits onto it and it's a right mess, this loom. So we're gonna have to go through it and try and sort that out and obviously because now we're relocating the battery to the boot we need to get all the battery feeds and everything that feed the fuse board they now need to just stay in the car and go back um washer bottles being relocated as well so we then need to find the wire for that move all that take it all to the back but for now for today all i want to do is get this through there routed along here into there so we know the route it's going to take now the original grommet is still on this which is a 45 mil hole. I've got a 44 mil hole, so it should be okay. And from what I've seen online and feeling in the car, you want to be somewhere in this 
area about here, I think. Yeah, about there. So I'm just drill a hole. Just there. After a bit of faffing, we've got that there. Now there's paint on it because I drilled it too big, so I've welded it back in and re-drilled the hole to the right size because I picked the wrong bit up. These here, I've got to go through, work out what they are, where they've got to go and what they do. By the looks of it, we're going to have to extend bits, which is not the best. Um, here, hole through here, these are headlight indicator, etc. wires for um, that corner. These then go off through the front panel up through a hole this side to this headlight indicator and whatever all this light is. I don't really know what any of it is. I'm just trying to get it in so it's done. Next thing we want to do is drill a hole for all of this light, which is obviously all the engine loom and things. And I've been told, so originally they both come through here and I've looked online and had a couple of messages from people saying, put it in this flat piece here below where the heater goes in, drill a hole in there it goes in nicely into the cabin and it's not on the hot side of the exhaust, it's on the cold side of the turbo, so it should be okay. And it's sort of out of the way to then get the cables, otherwise all up to the engine. So I'm gonna bang the same size hole saw, or the right size hole saw for that one through, which I believe I've put down somewhere. I'm gonna make sure I pick the right one up and it is a 44. So the holes in the bulkhead from the original wiring in are 45, I've got 44. It fits, it does what it needs to do. So let's get that hole drilled, get this wiring in, chuck the ECU in the car or the, the plugs for that. I've taken the gear linkage and everything off the top of the gearbox and get in with the drill. That there, that little indent there, is that cable clip, if you can see it on the bulkhead there. So we don't need to worry about getting rid of that. We're gonna drill directly where that is because it's nice and clear with the heater box and everything and it's a nice area. So drill's in there, let's drill the hole there. And then we start pulling the loom through. And there's that then, that's the two, well the loom to the engine ram, or the two looms to the engine ram from the ECU, and all the headlight and everything loom ram. Now there's still a lot to do to the loom, but I'm not overly bothered about extending wires and things like that. I just wanted to know that the idea of getting from there to everywhere that we needed to, through the bulkhead, in an okay place, was gonna work, which I'm pretty happy to say it does, it will. I need to sort of grommets out. We need to extend wires, we need to trace wires, because the battery's not in here, the washer's not up here. We need to move all of those sort of things to the boot. But for the most part, I've achieved what I wanted to achieve and they are in. So just quickly explain what I've done because I'm not sure if I have in the video already. Fuse box mounts to this bracket here inside the car and these two holes are where the, the wiring loom normally comes in or from factory comes in. Here is my new loom coming in, which again, it isn't in the right place. It needs to come further into the car, but that is pretty much coming in. Here is the hole we've just drilled in the bulkhead for the ECU stuff, which again, I'll make a bracket and that will sit up there, neatly behind the glove box and behind the dashboard, out the way. Um, all the other wiring for inside the car will be running factory positions in these clips down here, up to the fuse board. We drilled a hole here in the side, brings it across here. We'll, I'm probably going to try and find some sort of conduit or something. I might use slit conduit to put in it and then just take the whole thing in tape to keep it neat because obviously it's the wheel arch. Um, and then we've got split off of wires here. These go to the headlight and indicator. Now, yes, the indicator is in the bumper, but I figured I'd just pull it all there because it's lighting. And then we've got these wires here that go for a hole there, run all the way through that inner sort of front panel. And then they come up through a hole that we've drilled here, up through this hole. So holes we've drilled, 44 for that one. 33, 33, and then that one was 33 as well. And then that one in there was a 44 again to match the original ones. Now I've just gone round and started marking up with a pencil what we're gonna delete and everything I've marked up we're gonna be deleting. I've not marked these, but they're pretty obvious. They're coming out. Uh, battery trays are coming out. All these brackets and everything are coming out. Seam sealer I made a start on. We need to get all of them out. And then I wanna delete, I wanna weld all this patching up. Um, I think we're probably going to weld here up, get rid of all these 
bits from here as well and we'll probably put it on bonnet stays just to keep it again keep it nice and subtle and clean and looking good i have decided now that it's coming out yes the chassis number's on it so we'll cut that out and we'll move that somewhere else but yeah i've made the decision that that is going to come out we're making some decent progress on it it isn't as fast as i want it to be but i have taken a little bit of work as i've mentioned before for a couple of days a week doing something else and trying to go from shop fitting to doing this takes a while to change your brain over but that's only till christmas so if we've not made massive progress by christmas in the new year we will be making big progress but that's what i wanted to achieve i'm happy with what we've done so in the next one we'll get the engine out and we'll make a start on welding up the engine base so guys hope you've enjoyed it until next time enjoy